Hey guys. Hello. Hi. Do you like whiskey from Japan? I think so. I'm not sure. But a few I... times that I have tried it, I have enjoyed it. Oh, well, we're going to find out. I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. You were, I didn't... No, I, I feel like I've tried it. Like you've had one a long time ago. Yeah. I feel it. So. Because uh, in this episode, we will be doing, I think, a yes. blind taste test of three Japanese whiskeys. Spoiler alert, we're going to have three Japanese whiskeys, and obviously we're going to have three glasses in front of us. We won't know which one is which, so we're going to rank them best to worst. And then it's not until we have ranked them best to worst that we will find out which brand is which letter. Obviously, the viewers and you two can probably notice that there is only two bottles out of three on the table right now. Correct. That is because I found... Something very unique. I know nothing about it other than the packaging looked cool. <laughs> so I'm going to give this to, I'm going to hand this to Brian. This is exciting. It's like Christmas. The, the backpack's is. mine. This, this, this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, we're drinking a backpack. <laughs> so if you want to. Jeez Louise. So that's the back. Okay, hold on. <laughs> front okay ah. so found this at costco it was in a glass case Ooh. uh and yeah you go ahead open it <laughs> what <laughs> why is it so heavy <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. That is something. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just the bottle that was behind the glass case, not the box. I saw it. I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> that I feel like it should be haunted or something. Yeah, like, yeah, that is. We shouldn't drink this. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're going to pause the recording so we can, you know, pour these into glasses mm. and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I am very excited to try this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> drink me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. All right. And now there's oh, whiskey in there. Yes. Oh. What are the names? Oh, I'll Come on. When you had to do it. I'll do it. I don't mind. No, 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 no. Uh, so and, I just put them in alphabetical order by the first letter on the label. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we have Hibiki Suntory Whiskey, Japanese Harmony. Nika Whiskey, Single Malt yo, yo, Yoichi. Yoichi. Yamato. Japanese whiskey, Takeda Shingen edition. Pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. You watch anime, don't you? Oh, no, I do not. <laughs> Dude, that's been. Actually, and I think I think you're one of the people too. Like, oh, you should really watch this one. And just, I'm not that guy. Well, there's there's some that are fantastic because the story is just so good, and there's some that are just like garbage what that, people, was that? that people love. And <laughs> there was one. Wasn't there one that like won a bunch of awards? Movie or TV show? Maybe it's movie. I mean, uh, the Studio Ghibli ones, like yeah. Spirited Away. That's what I'm like, saying. Those away. are those, super popular those are because good. the stories are really good. Yeah, with those yeah, ones. that like those movies compared to like anime, like series is like very different. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny too because I remember watching movies when IFC used to show them, mm -hmm. like uh, MG Geist or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. MD was most dangerous. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, really? That's the MD stand yeah. Well, you know, very simple times. Not a doctor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, shall we begin? Yeah. Um, yeah. Letter right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I'm in that mindset, but I want to be like, Asian pear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying anything until you guys try it because okay. I don't I'll know. For him. I'm getting a light fruit. Like, you'll... Yeah, you'll, you'll see when you taste it. Did you already taste it? Of course I did. I told you. Oh, I, I didn't realize that you were, like, Googling, like... No, I'm smelling it. ...where it came from. <laughs> Googling. I smelled it, like, five times. If you were at Dom's table, you'd always be saying grace. <laughs> That's You're fine. You're reaching in first. That's fine. That's fine. I'm a family. It's okay. We're family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, shut up, asshole. It's like there's you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. There's fruit, but also like wheat 
or like there's like a grain. Oh, or even grass. Very tall grass. Yeah. Tall yellow grass. God, it's going to sound really pretentious. Pretentious. Morning dew. Oh. I almost feel like it's well, not I, green enough. I get a um, cantaloupe rind. <laughs> what do you smell, Bran Bran? Booze. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going in. Yeah. Yep. yep. Tasting letter A. I get oh, sweet, like right away. Like I hit it like sweet, some kind of like fruitiness, and then peaty. But at the way end. At the way end, yeah. But the peatiness doesn't take away from the sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Urgh. Doesn't take away from the sweet. It kind of like adds to it. It's re I really like it. It's like really complex, but very simple too. Grassiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not bad though. No. Yeah, I like it. Uh, on to smelling. Letter B? Yes. Yes. I will show patience and wait. Thank you. I'm just Ooh. very, I get very antsy in the pantsy. I can't help this it. Is notice, this is noticeably different. Oh, I, I like that. It's almost, it's almost caramely. No, it's very, yeah, it is caramely. But like a light caramel. I wouldn't say it's super woody. I don't think woody is it. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm almost leaning towards like, almost like a rubbery. It smells yeah. like, a, it smells like a Twinkie. Like, it smells like, like, it's got a sweetness, but almost like a, like a light sweetness. I know what you mean about the rubbery. I, 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 like I get, stamp. yeah, yeah, I get that. But like, I, there's, Butter stamp. there's something else behind it. Not really smoky at all. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Maybe a little bit like even, uh, you know, the scented markers. Yeah. It's, it smells like the purple scented marker. I was going to guess blue. <laughs> Almost like plasticky. It's so funny. Like, it does. Th those markers are really good. Yeah. Descriptor. But that's the thing. It's, I feel like I've used a whole bunch of negative words to describe but it. But it's not bad. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. When I'm, when I've, I'm baking and I have a dough, like a raw dough I'm working with. Yeah. And like after I'm done and like before I wash my hands, it smells like that on oh, my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, kind like of a raw thing. dough. Uh, not well. Yeah, it might be yeasty, but just uh, like um, the like amalgamation the of all the different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the culture yeah. of the enzymes. Okay. I'm going in. Yeah. Way different. Yeah. Not bad. Different. Just. I'd say the aftertaste is a bit more bitey, but not horrible. It, it's it's smooth enough to where it's not it's, it's not horrible. Um, I the beginning though I don't not sure I don't know what it is. The aftertaste is similar to the smell because I feel like at the very end getting a little bit of that like sulfur rubbery plastic. Um, yeah, the taste itself is different, but I can't put my finger on it. I like both of them. My preference, if I was like someone say, "Oh, would you like this or this one?" I would go A. That'd be my preference, just because it's um, the bite at the end. It doesn't have. I, I I'd rather not have that rubbery, you know. Which again, but it's not it's not bad. What do you? It. it um, this almost reminds me of Lagavulin, uh, sixteen, mm -hmm. where. It's not this whiskey where you're like, oh my god, this tastes amazing. I can drink this all night. Right. It's just really like complex and interesting. Yeah. 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 So it's like it's one of those things where like you almost have to you don't just like casually sip this throughout the night. It's like you sit down with this. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Um and it's weird Let's because see. the flavors don't like slap you in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like super subtle, but it's really drinkable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's weird, but just there's, it's really good, but there's no flavors that are like super pronounced, yeah. and that's and that's good it's or bad. Yeah, yeah, right. Hmm. If like if you were going to, if someone's like, what whiskey isn't too too crazy? Or like not enough flavor. Like this is like a nice neutral whiskey to like. Oh, try this one. It's like 
middle of the road. Or yeah. Yeah. It's something that you might, yeah, I would, it's how I would put it. Middle of the road. It's a middle I'm of the road one. I'm very conflicted with that. Yeah. Uh, I know, I forget what episode it was, but I remember there was an episode where we had like two winners. One was like, oh, this is your like everyday drink and this is like right. special occasions. Yeah. yeah. That's where I'm kind of leaning right now. Right. Yeah. 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 Because A is good. Yes. And I like B too, yeah. but B is definitely more like when you have time to like sit down mm-hmm. with a whiskey right. and like enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't see what C's all yeah, about. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, very different. Oh, this really... one smells like uh, like straight up scotch. Are you, as in like it's a little more like peaty? Yeah. Like if, if I didn't know like where this was from, and someone gave it to me, I'm like, oh, like, what, what kind of scotch is this? Like, where in Scotland was it made? But it wasn't made in Scotland. No. Tricked you. Gotcha. I don't say, like, a little bit mossy. Yeah, I, it's just peaty mossy is what I'm getting uh, from it. Kate's brother. That was and PD yeah, Moss. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm proud of you. I like it. It's weird because none of the Japanese whiskeys have been like super in your face, kind of mm-hmm. like bourbon is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would say none of them have been super woody or oaky. No. Right. Yeah, right, let's see. Yep. Taste, let her see. <laughs> oh. It's way different than the other two. Mm-hmm. That one kind of burns more through my nose a little bit. Yeah, this is yeah. This one's definitely more Bernie. <laughs> Sanders, not him though. Yeah, that was stupid. You can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. That definitely has a different burn than the others. A was a little peaty, like a tiny bit. B was more yeasty. I say C is more is. More true to a peaty scotch, or like about just like a peaty whiskey. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, it's more geared that way. Flavor. See, it just confuses me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's uh, this is it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. So for me, A is very light. Mm-hmm. It almost kind of reminds me of like a green tea, mm-hmm. where you know, just very kind of grassy and hay and yeah, you know, things of that. B is again we used like plastic and like rubbery to describe yeah. it, but it's still really good, right. really interesting. Yeah. Uh, and then C is just kind of like you said, almost like more of a scotch. Yeah. So there's more like a uh, peaty, mossy, yeah, kind of like by the sea kind yeah. of sense to it. So it's yeah. like it's I'm almost go- like different whiskeys for different occasions. Right. It really, I think I'm yeah. gonna go back into B here. Okay. Resmelling, retasting, letter B. Ooh, now it smells different. I mean, mm-hmm. more gum. Yeah, me too. It's funny you say. You say gum? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely, yeah. Something about C, I think, brought that out. Yeah. What else could, you know, there's... Oh, interesting. That's weird. Yeah. It's like they're complimenting each other, almost. Hey, you got to drink it all in one day, then. Hey, I like you. I like you. <laughs> it was all like that. <laughs> Hmm. Then let's do A. Yeah, this is because they're all like really good, but their own. I also got a little bit of like a uh, orange on the aftertaste of B. Hmm. I was wondering, like, just having them sit out and aerate, maybe right. changing. Yeah. Hold on, let me. Uh... Wow. A is really different. A is almost like C, except there's more, like like I said before, there's more complexity to A. I don't know, man. This is tough. I think I'm going to go B, A, C. Mm-hmm. I, I'd say so. I'd, I agree with that. But I'd also say this. They're all pretty much, like, they're all, they're, all three are very good. I feel like these are, this is like a good set of three, because mm-hmm. they're all... Japanese whiskeys, but they all have very unique, yeah, like personalities yeah. to them. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, don't know. I mean, it'd be costly, but it would be a bad idea to buy three. You know, these three and yeah, yeah. 
Do yeah. your own blind taste test. Yeah. Uh, reveal? Oh, wait. So oh, wait, what it's was uh, B A C. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I would maybe throw out there that more experienced whiskey drinkers would probably like B better. Beginner whiskey fans would probably hit like A better. I could see that. Yeah. That's just the guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then C is definitely for the Scotch yes. Yes. fans. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Suntory is Letcher. C. Last place. Oh, wow. Last place. And then uh, the Nika whiskey. A. Second place. Uh, <laughs> the there cursed bottle that. wins. There it is. <laughs> Yamoto uh, Japanese whiskey tequila Shingen. Shin, shin Shingen. Uh, first place. Cursed bottle wins again. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, I think I'll do it for this time. Yes. Right. Uh, doing the hard work so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Good, Good journey. journey. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, tell a friend.